This country is home to a pink lake caused by algae. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Senegal, an enchanting destination known for its historical landmarks, sensational surfing scene, and killer hippos. Stay with us until the end to learn more about its stunning geography, history, and culture. Senegal is a country located in West Africa. It has a long coastline along the Atlantic Ocean to the west and is bordered by Mauritania to the north, Mali to the east, and Guinea and Guinea-Bissau to the south. Senegal has a varied geography, featuring coastal plains, rivers, dry savannas, and semi-arid regions. Senegal's coastline stretches 300 miles from north to south along the Atlantic Ocean. Coastal plains make up the western third of the country, featuring beaches, dunes, estuaries, and marshes. The Cap Vere Peninsula juts out into the ocean near the capital, Dakar, which has served as an important port city for centuries. Mangroves and lagoons dot the coast, providing important habitats. The Senegal River forms a natural border between Senegal and Mauritania to the north. It is an essential source of fresh water and transportation in the region. The Saloum River separates the Cap Vert Peninsula from mainland Senegal. Its delta features mangrove swamps teeming with wildlife. The Gambia River flows through the narrow country of Gambia, which is mostly surrounded by Senegal. In addition to mining, Senegal's diverse geography and landscapes are a draw for tourists. One unique landmark is Lac Rose, also known as the Pink Lake. This large saltwater lake gets its pink hue from algae that thrive in its salty waters. The pink color is especially prominent during the dry season. Lac Rose has become a popular spot for tourists to visit and is representative of Senegal's natural wonders. The Senegalese population of over 17 million is predominantly Muslim, but also includes Christians, animists, and people of other faiths. The main ethnic groups in Senegal are the Wolof, Fula, Serer, Jola, Mandinka, and Soninka. The Wolof are the largest group concentrated in coastal regions. The Fula, or Fulani people, are traditionally nomadic herders. The Serer live south of Dakar and have strong cultural traditions. Other groups include the Diola in the Casamance region and the Maras who live near the northern border. Islam is the predominant religion in Senegal, practiced by over 90% of the population. Most Muslims in Senegal follow Sufi traditions and brotherhoods. Christianity arrived later during colonialism, but remains a minority religion. Many people also maintain indigenous animist beliefs alongside Islam and Christianity. While French is the official language, several native languages are widely spoken, including Wolof, Fula, Serer, Jola, Mandinka, and Soninke. Wolof has emerged as a main language and is spoken by 80 to 90% of Senegalese. Arabic has significance as well due to the Muslim population. The diverse landscape of local languages represents an integral part of Senegal's cultural heritage. The cuisine of Senegal is one of the most delicious and diverse in West Africa. It reflects influences from North Africa, Europe and beyond. Senegalese dishes make abundant use of locally grown ingredients like millet, rice, fish, chicken, vegetables and exotic spices. Here are four iconic Senegalese dishes that are a must-try. First up is Thieboudion, considered the national dish of Senegal. It consists of seasoned rice, fish and vegetables, onions, tomatoes, carrots, cabbage, manioc, eggplant and more are added to rice and fish seasoned with herbs. Every family has their own version, but Thieboudion always delivers an explosion of flavors. Next is Thiebu Diola, the signature dish of the Diola people. It's made by layering rice, 
fish and tomato sauce, seasoned with garlic, parsley and lemon. Versions with manioc sweet potato or bean fritters are also common. The rice soaks up the rich tomato broth for a comforting hearty meal. Soup candia is a meat and vegetable soup that packs some spice. It starts with a base of beef, fish or chicken stewed with onions, garlic, chilies and cubed eggplant. Okra, potato, carrots, cabbage and turnips are also added for variety. The spicy, aromatic broth is served with white rice for a warming and very flavorsome soup. Finally, vermicelle poulet features chicken served over vermicelli noodles. Shredded chicken is cooked in a blend of onion, garlic, ginger, chili pepper, tomatoes and peanut butter for an irresistible sauce. It's ladled over vermicelli noodles for a simple yet deeply satisfying meal. Strategically located on the farthest point of Africa's west coast, Senegal was an important gateway between African kingdoms and external traders. Its history is marked by early tribal civilizations, the transatlantic slave trade, colonialism and independence. The Senegalese coast was part of large African empires, including Ghana, Mali and Songhai in the first millennium AD. The Jolof Kingdom emerged in the 14th century with a complex political organization and became a major power in the region. Other early kingdoms included the Tekror in the north and the Sera kingdoms of Sine and Salum in the 15th century. Portuguese settlers began trading for slaves along the Senegalese coast to sell in Europe. In the 17th to 18th centuries, the French, British and Dutch extended the trade. Up to 20,000 slaves were exported per year from Senegal's ports in the horrific transatlantic slave trade that ravaged the region. France gradually exerted colonial control over coastal ports in Senegal from 1659 to 1895. Senegal was part of French West Africa and Dakar became the capital of all French colonies in 1902. Though France abolished slavery, Senegal's economy remained dependent on producing groundnuts for French industries. Senegal peacefully gained independence from France in 1960, led by Leopold Sédar Senghor. After a brief federation with Mali, the Socialist Party ruled Senegal as a one-party state from independence until 2000, when free elections were held. Senegal has since been praised for its democratic stability. The West African nation of Senegal has seen its economy grow steadily over the past decade. With a GDP of around $27 billion, it's one of the more prosperous countries in the region. Senegal's economy is driven primarily by agriculture, tourism and mining. Let's take a look at each of these key sectors. Agriculture employs over 70% of Senegal's labor force. The main crops are peanuts, millet and rice. Senegal was once one of the leading producers of peanuts in the world. While peanut production has decreased, it's still a major export. Fishing is also important, with Senegal possessing a long coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. When it comes to industry, phosphate mining has been crucial. Senegal has some of the largest phosphate reserves in the world. Phosphate from mines in the interior of the country is transported to coastal refineries for export. Mining alone accounts for over 10% of GDP. Over the last 15 years, tourism has emerged as a fast-growing industry. With miles of beaches, Senegal has become a popular beach destination. The capital Dhaka attracts many visitors along with nature reserves and parks such as Juj National Bird Sanctuary. Tourist numbers continue to rise each year. Senegal has a mostly liberalized economy with some state-owned enterprises. The government has undertaken economic reforms to encourage foreign investment. This includes public-private partnerships for major infrastructure projects, 
it is politically stable compared to some neighbors. While still a developing country, Senegal's economic expansion looks set to continue. The government hopes to achieve emerging market status soon. With new oil discoveries offshore, extractives will further power growth. Of course, challenges remain, such as income inequality and poverty reduction. But overall, the economic narrative of Senegal is one of optimism. If you enjoyed this video on Senegal, you'll love this next one.